Hi guys, a very good morning and welcome to Africa and Beyond Television Network. And this morning, let us talk about important matters. So let us focus on the retirement of uh, Air Marshal Elson Moy. The major question being asked by a lot of people is, was he retired forcefully or he retired voluntarily? That is what we need to take a look on and have answers. So at the end, we need to establish what really happened and what really transpired. So we need to take a look on the statement itself, which was, which was issued by the government of the Republic of Zimbabwe. This is uh, the um, presidential communications department. They issued a press statement. And something very important, a removal from office and appointments. This is the headline removal from office by definition if you are taking a definition on the removal removal is the action of taking away or abolishing something unwanted that is that is the best definition of removal it's the action um the action of taking away taking away or abolishing something unwanted which means the Air Force commander is uh, uh, um, his uh, services were taken away from him. His uh, unwanted services were taken away from him. This is the definition with the best definition we have so far. So the headline is key when dealing with this matter. But when we get into the context, it says. Um, his Excellency President Dr. Emerson Damudum is in terms of Section 341F, as reads with Section 2162 and 89 of the Constitution of, uh, of Zimbabwe, Amendment Number 20, a retired Air Marshal Elson Moyo as Commander of the Air Force of Zimbabwe, effect from 15 March 2024. A retired Air Marshal Elson Moyo. This is key also. This is the body. This is the explanation of what is happening. He has been retired. He did not retire on his own. He has been retired. Retired. So when you are retiring, you retire on your own. When you are retired, you are retired on two conditions. Either by the appointing authority or by age. So we need to take a look on the uniformed forces, uh, especially the soldiers. In 2018, V.P. Chwenga announced through a government gazette that he had extended the age of um, what was called during that particular moment uh, specialized and uh, 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 specialized military personnel, SMP. So Elson Moyo is one of the SMPs and the retirement age was a 65, so it was moved to 70 years as they were classified as specialist military personnel. And the major question is, when was Elson Moyo, the commander of the Air Force, born? He was born in 1958 in Merengwa. So which means at this moment in time, he is 66 years. 66 years old, which means he has gone past by a year. He has gone past by a year. So his retirement um, at 65 cannot happen because they were given an extension up to 70 years, which means he does have an option to continue up to uh, a later date, up to the point he reaches 70 years, which means President Mnangagwa cannot force him to retire before he reaches 70 years. Um, but it has happened. He has been retired before he reaches 70 years in extension, which was brought in by VP Chuenga. A lot of people are saying, he brought that extension to try and protect some senior elements within the military. 
kutra uti madira wanga chizo buda. But it has been removed. Another person uh, in the uh, recent few months, we heard that the command, uh, the ZNA, was also removed from his role and was moved forward. So this is uh, was was removed and another was was um was appointed. This is a second move, which has happened in a short space of time. So we are trying to establish the statement removal and retired. So if we put them together, uh, you would understand that um, uh, he didn't do it voluntarily. This is uh, what experts are saying. So I, I do not know, guys, could he, your own thoughts regarding this whole thing, but this is my own understanding at this juncture. So from this statement, yes, we, we can agree. He has been removed from office. And another statement, president is retired, which means the two conditions, reaching statutory retirement age or um, he was removed or retired, which means in this case, we have talked about the, the, the statutory retirement age, which was moved to. 70 years in 2018 by VP Chuenga, then we have the second scenario where he was removed or he was retired, which means Mkoma Mdudu's got it correct right here. And uh, I agree with him. So he says this is neither voluntary nor regular, which means uh, the answer has been given right here to suggest Kuti. We don't believe Kuti Mkuru Aga Biswa. Uh, regularly or voluntarily. He was retired. He was removed from office. And this is all contained in a statement from the government itself. It's not something we are making up. It's something from the government. Our duty is to analyze what we are given by those in authority. This is what we have done. So at this moment in time, Tim Zimbabwe, let us agree that um, Marshall, Air yeah, Marshall, also in Moya, was retired and was removed from office. So what does that mean? It means that there is chaos in the cockpit. He was 66 years old, which means they would have removed him last year. Dupa uh, Fanon Gogam Bisa. I was Dupa 65 years. So Kanayanga Iri uh, statutory retirement. Pakan Wika, 65 years. Ngadeyakan Zibaba Moyo, Mashika, Fambai Fambai. But he was not removed then, which means it falls in the category of 70 years is the statutory retirement because of special military Chakadaro Yaka Gadzirwa Navachuenga. So it's special military personnel. SMPs. So then to be removed at the age of 66, this is involuntary. We 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 see rather another statement which is so interesting in Zimbabwe. We cannot ignore that statement. It's it's coming from ZBC News Online. Let us try to go to ZBC News Online. Because you know, it's time Spanish version in Oneka. Right, you need to take a look onto the statement. Right, the statement here from ZBC it says President Mnangagwa approves Air Marshal Elson Moyo's retirement. How? Oh, approves. Okay. Vanga Devati Payudline Pepe approval of retirement. And it may be in Rukangans, but Vanga Devati approval of retirement and appointment or appointments. So 
if you take a look on all these issues, in my own understanding, you could actually see that ZBC tried to correct this one, but they have been outdone uh, already by those who issued the press statement. There were issues in the house the removal from office and appointments. And um, everyone is in agreement. I have seen Dr. Otam Zembi also uh, talking about the same issue. I have seen Dr. Otam Zembi talking about the same issue or commenting on the same issue. And we need to take a look on what Dr. Otam Zembi. He said is removal from office the same thing as being retired from office. Removal from office is a disciplinary measure for an impeachable offense and may not necessarily mean the same as retirement. What is the communication here? He also picked the same anomaly. So in Team Zimbabwe, when we are dealing with this matter, we have to understand what is happening in the nation of Zimbabwe so that the people would know that GP, 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 GP. Can a era of communication in the chief secretary to the president cabinet were considered a confusion? Yes, that is the reason why there is a speculation. But then, how is it that he has been removed on the same day? Raitika Zaitika ku Victoria Falls, John Doe Ascender, Oza Ascender, and President Rata Zaumara, Victoria Falls, and Dupo Vapatika Nyazi says. All these issues put together. They mean a lot. Is there uh, chaos in the cockpit? Yes, there is confusion in the cockpit. Because if there was no confusion, there too much speculation. They would have waited uh, for another day. Because what happened in Victoria Falls, then move on removal from office. What does that mean? So it is what it is in Zimbabwe. I don't know. Let us talk in the comment section. What do you think? Let us have this discussion.